So now, Dora, you're also with the group. You're with another group. Um, yeah. And your group is? Minnesota 9-11 Truth. Minnesota 9-11 Truth. And we're affiliated with the National 9-11 Truth Group. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's a grassroots movement also, very yeah. definitely. Started about three years ago here in Minnesota. Yep. And we've been meeting regularly. First of all, we were just a discussion group. And now we've decided to plan educational uh, we're, we're going into educational purposes. Yes. And that means showing some of the uh, uh, DVDs that we have that explain exactly what happened on 9-11, um, that steel doesn't melt from fires. Um, mm -hmm. yes. it, it, those were explosions that had to be set inside the buildings for weeks ahead of time. Mm -hmm. It was all very well planned and yep. over 3,000 people died. And, and 3,000 Americans died, and there are serious, serious questions being raised on, on the issue of September 11th, on the potentials of our own government being involved. That's right. That's our right. own government being involved. The, the people who are the uh, immediate families of many of the people who died mm -hmm. are the ones particularly who are asking hard questions. Um, yes. And they forced the president finally mm -hmm. to name a panel to investigate. And it was uh, it was pretty phony. Some of the things that directed by Henry Kissinger, directed by, yes. directed by Kissinger, yeah. of all Mr. <laughs> Mr. Blood and Guts himself. Yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, he backed out finally because yeah. he knew that people were not going to accept him. The gig was up. Yeah. 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 The gig was up. But yeah. the questions that these people had had asked and really wanted answered were not even considered by the uh, by the panel. Yeah. And uh, such, it, it, there, there was another building that went down the same, well, later in the day, mm -hmm. uh, building number, number seven. And mm -hmm. because they didn't know what to say about it, um, they ignored it right. yeah. in their report. Like it didn't happen. Right. Like it didn't right. happen. And so that's kind of what it, most people think. It, well, a lot mean. have, yeah. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things that when you speak of it to somebody who doesn't know that... <gasps> Really? What? Yeah, exactly. so was building there seven? Building? Yeah. What was building seven? <laughs> exactly. In, in fact, we have the, um, the famous, if you don't watch the corporate media, you have the famous video clip of the BBC yeah. actually reporting on the collapse of building seven Prior. 20 yeah. minutes before it collapsed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. One would almost suspect yeah. really? that the press release yeah. was, yeah, was really. released early. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and when, here's the I thing, you know. I heard that. Now, it was no, seen once. To be, to, yeah, seen once by the BBC and never shown again. Yeah. But thank God for YouTube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank God for YouTube. And, and you know, the funny thing is that, you know, um, now here's the thing. We cannot say for certain, you know, to be completely fair and honest, we cannot say for certain True. that our own government was definitely involved in the, in the Texas on September 11th. However, there's a hell of a lot of circumstantial evidence pointing in that direction. There's a lot of evidence put in that direction. And when you look at the pictures, specifically of Building 7, I mean, even more so than, than Towers 1 and Towers 2, when you see Building 7, it looks exactly like a, a, a building being taken down, a planned yeah. demolition. Yep. And the thing about that is that if you not know anything... Not hit by a plane. Not hit by no, a plane. No. Small fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. and yet, and, and yet, it went down exactly like a demolition building. Sure. Mm -hmm. Free fall exactly. speed. Free yeah. fall speed. Well, exactly. so did the other two buildings, though, too. Yeah. Yes. Nothing should fall that fast. That no. was absolute free fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, that just doesn't happen when a plane hits a building. In fact, those buildings were built redundantly so that they planned, you know, if, if a couple planes hit it, nothing would happen. You know, mm -hmm. it would probably, there would probably be damage above where the plane hit. Mm -hmm. But that's it. And... And, and, you know, in fact, just to get back specifically to Minnesota and, and specifically to the Minnesota media, <clears throat> we had, um, when was Willie, when was Willie Rodriguez here? Uh, about a year ago. About a year ago. Yeah. It was less than that, actually, I thought. A, a little less, a little maybe. less than a year. Last about, October, about, I believe. About a year ago. Now, now viewers, we had here in Minnesota, we had a gentleman, Willie Rodriguez. And if you're a 9-11 truth, you know who Willie... Mm -hmm. Please tell us who is Willie Rodriguez <laughs> since WCCO never talked about him or KSTP or NPR. He's a janitor in the, the uh, North North Tower um, World Trade Center um, too mm -hmm. uh, for 20 years. Um, he knew the building in and out. Um, I believe uh, he was in basement level two um, mm -hmm. when all hell broke loose and uh, Specifically, all hell breaking loose, meaning 
that uh, there were bombs going off in the basement levels. He, he witnessed and helped people coming up from basement levels with skin and flesh hanging off their bones like they put their hands up, you know, uh, from an ex blast. From and, an explosion that he heard happening yeah. in the basement. In the government's Before train. the plane hit. The government will tell you that's because the plane hit and fuel trickled down through 100 stories, 70 stories. Which is how it exploded you. before the plane hit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, when you look at yeah, the fabrications, it's so easy to, to see through the lies. As long as you're not concerned about, right. you know, Britney's panties or no lack of panties or whatever, you know, which is what the media talks about. Yeah. You know, horrifyingly tough questions, you know. Right. And we have, to, we have to ask ourselves, the media, just how complicit are they in everything? Exactly. Like True. I say, we've had, we've had a takeover of our government and of our country and of our democracy. And the media are completely complicit. They're not informing Cor the public. Corporate just cheerleaders. Corporate there's cheerleaders, there's exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just in That's case good. there's... Someone in the audience not familiar with that word, complicit. Complicit means active participants. Ah. Active participants. Ah, okay. It. We really Folks, need this has been a glorious show. show. It's been this a great show. This has been a glorious show. We need to wrap show. up if we're going to. But having said that, we do have to wrap up. Mm -hmm. uh, we could go on for hours and yes, continue this discussion. It's been a great but show, Michael. It's been a good show. So, viewers, thank you. And thank you to our guests. Thanks for, our guests. Yes, thanks for coming. Thank you. Our thank pleasure. you for being here. And uh, welcome to this edition, this month's edition of Lies and Omissions of the Corporate Media. Corporate Media, Corporate Lies. We report, you decide. And when I reach the other side, and Bill. I'll find a place to rest my spirit if I can. Perhaps I may become a highwayman again.